Hello Space Nerds. Uh, got a development update for you. It is April 3rd, 2016 and I took Friday off so worked on it, worked on this thing all weekend and got quite a lot done. Um, let me show you some of it. This is the Game Master screen and I always thought that um, in the Star Trek TV show there is the computer who is a kind of character aboard the ship and I needed something like that so I started messing around with text-to-speech so on the Game Master screen you can essentially cause the computer to say something to any of the ships so in this case my ship is called Space Nerd and I can do TTS Space Nerd colon Hello Space Nerds and when I hit enter Hello Space Nerds well, it doesn't know how to pronounce space nerds, but <laughs> you get the idea. So you can make the computer say whatever you want um, and do your Star Trek role playing and just have a grand old time with that thing. Um, I decided I wanted to... Another problem these kind of games have, or seem to have, is the <clears throat> whoever's stuck on comms doesn't seem like they have a whole lot to do. So I have kind of, in the same vein, uh, made comms able to interact with the computer. So I put some kind of natural language processing in here, nothing fancy. I mean, it's kind of 80s technology, kind of the way uh, Zork from Infocom, if you're familiar with that game, um, it works a little bit along the lines of the way those games work. So nothing groundbreaking, um, but still with that, you can get pretty far. For example, um, I can do something like, <clears throat> Um, I can ask the computer, I say slash computer, um, calculate a course to Inot, which I happen to know Inot is the name of a planet in this game. Course to Inot calculated. Destination lies at bearing 177, mark minus 54. So you can calculate a course to wherever you want to go. Um, you can do other things. Actually, you can pretty much control the ship from here. So I can say, for example, uh, computer set warp drive coolant to 100. Setting the warp drive coolant to 100 percent. And it does it. So if you go look on engineering, you see that the warp drive coolant is indeed at 100 percent. It may have been already, but the warp drive power you can see is zero here over in the, let's see, can you see that on the camera? Uh, here. Oh wow, the touch screen works. I didn't even know that. Um, so if we go back to comms, I can say computer set warp drive power to 90. Setting the warp drive power to 90%. And then we see now that it's up around 90 here. And then if I go, we can see here the the uh, warp drive power is at zero, or the warp drive mm, setting is at zero. That's a little bit of a confusing point. So I can control that from comms too. Um, warp drive to 90. Setting the warp drive to 90%. And if we go here, we can see on the screen, it is in fact, now set to 90. So, what else can we do? Um, well, as it turns out, um, another thing that I wanted to do was um, possibly enable uh, voice recognition. So in addition to being able to type things here on the comm screen, if you have um, a shell like this, um, the client program has a, a FIFO, a first in first out, a named pipe that it reads from and anything you put in there gets sent to the server to the natural language processing. So I can say cat redirect into this FIFO and now anything I type goes through the client to the server and gets interpreted as uh, commands to the computer. So I can say, for example, let me go over here and let's look out the main view. And I can say, for example, 
um, computer um, set a course for INOT. Setting course for init. And it does it. Or another planet. Course for ZOZ. Setting course for ZOZ. Set a course for. I happen to know the names of these planets. I've been fooling around with this thing all weekend. Setting course for six. And you're thinking, well, what planet is there? But if you zoom, oops, if you zoom in, this one's just far away. And I can also do something like. Um, Oh, what was I going to do? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, um, set impulse drive to 50. Setting the impulse drive to 50%. Um, so that's all pretty cool. You can kind of drive the ship from this or from comms just by typing in what you want it to do. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. Um, I can have it tell me about this planet. This hot world is most famous for exporting awesome works of fiction and is famed for marvelous suggestive stories. Dodge the regrettable Delithium crystals. The wise traveler will bring a strong line of credit. And I can scan different things. Um, there's a ship out there called Capricorn Cutlass. Targeting sensors on Capricorn Cutlass. Capricorn Cutlass is a freighter class ship originating from the planet EOZ. So there's all kinds of things you can ask the computer to do for you. Um, let's see. So another, finally, the coolest thing, um, in addition to just typing to this uh, thing, you can have a little script which use something like Pocket Sphinx, which is some um, natural uh, speech recognition kind of stuff. So let's do that. Leaving high security area. All right, so now I have my speech recognition thing running, piping into my, um, my named pipe. So let's see if it works. Computer status report. Computer status report. Damage report. All systems within normal operating range. Is that pretty fucking hot or what? All right. Well, that's about all I get for this time.